Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week I am building out of the two towers set and Simeon is building out of Star Trek Tactics, the third. Simeon, who is on your team? 400 points, Golden Age, playing with the new rules, guys. We are totally, I think, up to date on the new rules with the Wonder Woman rulebook coming out, so... We will. I, mean, I haven't read the rule book. I've skimmed the pack. Simeon's about yeah. the same, so we'll do our best. Big to disclaimer. Do these in the rules. It'll be the the powers will probably be correct. We might get it like a few like minute rules and stuff wrong, but that's that's literally the same for every yeah. one of these because we. Uh, I mean, you make mistakes as hero clicks <laughs> players, don't we all? Uh, so Everybody starting makes off. Mistakes. Everybody on has uh, Trek <laughs> 3. So I never saw Trek 3, but it must have a tie-in with that show Little or Baby Geniuses, right? Is that what the name of it is? Because this is a tiny size ship named Einstein. So it's a baby genius. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. It's like one of the little, uh, little shuttle pods. I don't know what it's from at all. But it's got, it's got flight. Okay, Simeon. Because it's a ship. It's got tiny size which is hilarious because it's still bigger than anything Calder will have on his team. Uh, but uh, it's got one special power <laughs> or one, yeah, one special damage True. power. It's entire dial with a sad defense and energy shield. It's whole dial, but only 25 points. So it has support, but it can only heal a maximum of two damage. When it uses support and rolls doubles, it may also remove an action token from the ship that is healed. So it's a support roll with a nine attack. Luckily, my defenses are super low. Uh, next up is the Assimilation Prime. Assimilation Target Prime, Ooh. which I imagine is the Enterprise. But again, did not watch this movie. Um, but it's got the Borg and Federation team abilities. Uh, let's see. Attacked by a ship. Yeah, both, both team abilities refer to ships, so we're just going to ignore them. Uh, assimilation tokens and weird defense increasing nonwithstanding. Calder's not playing any ships again. Uh, so it's got one special power, fighting on the run. Hmm. When assimilation target prime makes a ranged combat attack and actions resolve, you may move it up to three squares. This is uh, very similar to the Gears of War team ability. It's actually exactly the Gears of War team ability without the like cover mechanic part where they had to move to like hindering or blocking. But yeah, very interesting special power for the first three clicks. It's got Pulse Wave for its last three clicks, which will only do a locked damage of one no matter how many targets with the new rules. Uh, it's got some Outwit top dial, and then it's got Scavenged Borg technology. When Assimilation Target Prime uses the Borg team ability, which I won't, it may place the assimilation token on itself instead, which I won't. Uh, when assimilation target prime is hit with an attack, you may remove assimilation tokens from it and modify the attacker's damage value minus one for each assimilation token. Very cool. Um, this actually, this set had both of the Borg cubes, which were like 300 to like 600 points. So sadly, not playing either of those. Um, next up... <laughs> Is this crazy looking thing the Bioship Alpha from Speci Species oh. 8472? They never get a proper name because they're just categorized by the Borg. Uh, this species, uh, this alien race, to me, only appears in Voyager. I haven't seen it in anything else. I don't know where else it appears, but uh, they only appear in Voyager. They're pretty terrifying looking, and it's like one of the few species that the Borg are actually afraid of because like they can't, for some reason there's something oh, about really? their physiology. They can't assimilate. And yeah, the Borg are just like terrified of them, which is a very interesting mechanic in like the show. Um, but anyhow, they've got biomatter defenses. Bioship alpha can use shape change and can't be targeted with incapacitate ships using the Borg team ability. Do not place mm. assimilation tokens on bioship alpha. Yeah weird creepy alien things that get on voyager uh they've also got this special speed power for the first four clicks can use phasing teleport and running shot which is a great combo it's also got the sharpshooter team ability so i can shoot from adjacency and seven range for 125 points not the worst 
not great, but it's all right. Next up is the Halleck Raider, also from Voyager, uh, the Kazon. Um, that's the planet where they pretty much first go after being sent into uh, D Quadrant. Is it D Quadrant? Wow, what it... a bunch of Star Trek nonsense. What's the ship do, though? Don't, please stop talking about Star Trek. Uh, You've been killing on the inside here. D. I don't know, dude. <laughs> They have a What's name for it, even though do? they've never been there. Uh, it's got stealth. It's got uh-huh. energy explosion, six range, 50 points. Real cheap little piece here. Um, kind of a cool design. It's like a Mad Max version of a starship because they're raider people. Um, but they've got one special power for the first three clicks. You must trust the one who helps you. Halleck Raider can use support. It can use telekinesis as a free action but only to place a friendly ship into a square adjacent to Halleck Raider. So not only is it only six Mm. squares, I also have to be able to place them adjacent. So no, like, placing in front Mm. or anything, but, yeah. Interesting. Next up is the Bajoran ship Ratosha. Uh, The Bajorans, as you know, were enslaved by the Cardassians. Bro, please, you're killing me, bro. The Cardassians are pretty mean to the Bajorans. This is more of like a deep space nine kind of lore. Five clicks long, uh, the speed power. <laughs> it's five clicks long, got some toughness and then energy shield. It's got the warp drop assault. Ratosha can use phasing teleport and running shot, which we already saw. Uh, when it uses running shot, it can use improved movement, ignores blocking terrain, ignores characters, which is pretty fun for uh, running shot. It's actually really good for running shot. Um, and then last but not least at all is yet again oh my our favorite vehicle in all of hero clicks assimilated vessel 77139 how could we forget five range charge uh mid dial to end dial assimilating technology assimilated vessel 77139 can use poison and steel energy when it uses poison deal one additional damage to any ships marked with an assimilation token Pretty, pretty stout. Those Funny. super good attack values. Darn. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, on Team 2 Towers, uh, KS off Rohan's soldier. Look at him. Look at his eyes. That's Precious. a thousand anyway, yards stare if I've ever uh, seen He's got one. a special speed power. <laughs> it is. That's like... He's a special speed power. You can just charge. Gosh. A hundred orcs piling down towards you. <laughs> He's front line in it too. Uh, anyways, he can use charge. When he does, modify his attack value plus one. Just for some reason, they couldn't have given him a plus one attack on those two clicks, whatever. Anyways, um, skilled rider is his trait, a character using the carry ability. May carry Rohan soldier in addition to any other characters being carried, which is really cool. Now we have Legolas Greenleaf here, clocking in 110 points. Oh, is this uh, Legolas, Bloom? of course, wielding his famous his famous sword. You know, the thing he used the most, a sword. Yeah. Glad that's in the sculpt, the sword. <laughs> also, his the eyes are so beautiful, for. just like the movies. That's yeah. true. He's those aren't those eyes. CGI eyes from uh, Desolation of Smog, for sure. <laughs> To the CGI's eyes. <laughs> Anyways, he has uh, an epic action. Elf eyes. Give Legolas Greenleaf an epic action. He may use running shot as a free action and place a spotter token on any hit targets. When a character marks with a spotter token is the target of a ranged combat attack, modify its defense by a negative one for each 300 points of the game's build total. Oh, so it's only wow. we're playing a 400 point game. Um, but in oh, a 900 so point okay. game, for we're pretty crazy. Yeah, um, okay. For each 300 points, yeah. Yeah. His second okay. trait is Deadly yeah. Archer. When Legolas Greenleaf targets one or more, blah, more than one character, the range combat attack, modify his attack and damage values by plus one. So, you know, he's got a little little bit better there. He's got nine range, two targets. He'd be an 11 for four top dial. So it helps him out a little bit with no reducers and being this many points. And then his finishing shot, which he has on his last five clicks of life, is going to be when Legolas makes a ranged combat attack, modified the damage dealt to characters marked with an action token by plus one. It's pretty wild. So combine that with his deadly archer trait, he can be up to five damage on click three. It's pretty solid. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, and it's actually just damage dealt to them, so he can still split his three damage however he wants, and he just deals an additional one to each target, which is really good. Uh, Faramir is next up. 
He's got a ooh, he guards hindering terrain. What a guy. Look at him. Look at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got nice eyes in the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, he ignores hindering terrain, which does us a whole bunch of nothing for movement. He has ambush once per game. Give Faramir an epic action and all friendly characters occupying hindering terrain. Modify their attack values plus one this turn. When you do Faramir make a close or range combat action as a free action. It's pretty cool. He also has running shot and stealth, which is much, much better now that they changed uh, the hindering terrain and all, all that jazz works. And also slightly worse since they also changed how stealth works, but let's not get into it. At least Next up is, the ESD stealth pieces kind of make sense now because if you move yeah, up they are a little better. stealth from adjacency, yeah. it's like, ah, they're a little I better. still have ESD. Yeah. Now we have Holder. Holder's got a Elven Archery. Once per game, give Holder an epic action. Choose up to one friendly character per 200 points of the game's build total. During your turn, you may give each chosen character a power action, and they may each make two ranged combat attacks as free actions, uh, which is pretty gnarly. If Holder is a chosen character, this power action may be given as a free action instead. This guy is pretty darn good. So I get to choose himself, one other person, and they both get ranged flurry this turn as a free action. Pretty insane. Uh, So yeah, and then he has a special attack power, which is damage dealt by ranged combat attacks made by friendly characters adjacent to Holder can't be reduced to less than one. Pretty gnarly. He's also defending out that solid 17, which is a right? super great defense value to be defending to people. And last of all, but certainly not least, we have Eamor and Steed. This is the only figure from the set I own. I really like this figure, actually. Big fan. Go ahead, click on him. Look at his horse. Look at his sculpt. Check it out. Look at that. He's dope. I actually, uh, I think I clipped this figure off and like put a Captain America on him instead. I don't know why, but I just did. Might as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got a very to me this this style feels very Captain America y, especially when I like read it to you. So you see, he's got duo attack. He's got indom. He's got moving attack with carry. He's got three range, which you know Cap's just not throwing the shield very far. Um, soldier keyword. That's about the only keyword that makes sense for Captain America and that man, sure. I guess. He's got leadership toughness. He's got defend. He's got some charge, flurry, perplex later. He's got open field tactics. Like this is all like very Captain America stuff. Uh, especially his lead by example, epic action. Uh, choose up to one friendly character for each 200 points of the game's build total. When a chosen character uses charge this turn, modify their speed value by negative two instead of having their speed value from charge. If Eomor and Steed is one of the chosen characters, they can use charge as a free action this turn. So it's pretty cool. So it just gives other people charge. But if you choose these guys for it, they can just use it for free, which is nice. And then they'll have a uh, whatever, a seven square charge. And the other person will have a whatever square charge, you know, only a negative two, which is pretty solid. Then he's a trait trusted steed. When Eomor and Steed use the split ability, a bystander token named Steed is considered to be the same click as Eomor and Steed and can't be given an action to use the merge ability. So once they're split up, they're split up. It's a little sad. Um, then they have a special damage power on clicks three and four and click seven, which is open field tactics. Eomor and Steed can use perplex, but may only modify the speed or attack values of friendly characters. This is a very bloated point cost dial. I mean, they all are, but this just really, really resonates with a really solid Captain America to me. Uh, and then rounding out the team, we do have uh, the Steed here for the splitting token, who has my favorite comment on HC Realms ever, uh, Horse Blast. Because <laughs> it's, it's a horse with Force Blast. With, with six range awesome. now. Force yeah, yeah, it's true. Six. That's true. Everything in the PAC is now minimum six. Well, not, I mean, everything that used to have a minimum is now minimum six. It used to be like mind control was a minimum four range, but it's now minimum six. Uh, a lot of stuff has been, gotten bumped up to minimum six. But yeah, force blast included. So horse blast included. But yeah, baby, horse blast. And then we've yeah, got... I love me some horse blast. And then we have Eomor. I won't read him. I'll probably never, honestly, uh, split them. I doubt I will. And then the last 15 points is the Palantar. This is like the little orb thing that Salam- Salamander Man, or whatever his face was, Magneto, was looking at. No, it's not Magneto. <laughs> it's Count Dooku. Count, yeah, Dooku. Count Dooku was looking at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Did I have my wizards know? confused. It's... That he had to tell Peter Jackson what? what a man sounds like when he gets stabbed in the back. Wow. What a great movie trivia thing. Yeah. 
that's a pretty wild. Anyway, it's mind control, and they can use improved move targeting blocking terrain. Um, pretty cool. Relic three through six, though. Much easier relic to pick up than Sting. No ever could comments be. about but it. All right, either. that's our team. No one's yeah, saying Yeah, nothing it. to say. It's easy yeah. relic with mind control wow. and ignores blocking. I feel like HC Realms just doesn't even care about these two sets. I I really feel like they just pass these by as if they never happened or something. But all right. Uh, I won map roll, so I took us to Isengard. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard, to Isengard. Taking the hobbits to Isengard. God, 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 God. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Anyways. No Anyways, zoomers know what you're uh, so yeah, it's actually a, it's a cool dude. It's a cool map, by the way. This big old S actually, yeah. per turn, it's kind of neat. It so we're gonna sweet. just start off. Have Eamor and Steed carry both the Rohan soldier and Faramir uh, here, since the whatever soldier just sort of comes with them. And then we're gonna have old Duplo Lass here go ahead and move. Let's see. He's got a whole leap climb of whole nine squares. It's pretty solid. Let's see what happens if we move there, huh? Eh. That's eh, not the worst. Let's move there instead. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Put Halder there. Actually, I'm going to change. I'm going to move him up here. I was like, there's a reason I put that Palantar thing there. I thought you were just there like, I put it on my build, yeah. and I'm going to ignore it. You completely ignore it, yeah. All right, no, that's it. That's my turn. It's by all means to me. It's your go. All right, sweet. Uh, Good old... Let's see, how did I shorthand this? Oh, yes, Assimilated Target mm. Prime is what that is shorthand for. Uh. Okay. I've got 10 speed, but I'm going to carry this tiny Einstein along with me. Let's see. I have no idea where I really want to go. I'm all everyone on my team is a flyer and in addition to flying, a lot of them can phase. So assimilation target prime has now, their speed power is if I attack, so I'm going to want to be somewhere where I can do that. So I think nine squares will go, we'll go right here. And we'll drop the baby Einstein behind us. Mm. I don't have any leadership on this team, sadly. So I won't be able to move all the ships out in one go. Um, let's see. My bio ship Alpha has phasing and running shot. The Halleck Raider is probably needing to move out. So the Halleck Raider can move seven and has stealth. So let's go right smack dab into the middle of that stealth down there. Um... It'll mm. leave me open to TK something next turn if I need to, at least if I can see it. Uh, let's see. Phasing running shot. Phasing running shot. Assimilated vessel has charge. So I think assimilated vessel will probably hang out in the back. It's, of course, assimilated vessel 7713. Um, then we'll just move these two into position behind the Halleck Raider, I believe. So we've got the Ratosha and the Bioship Alpha, both with phasing running shot. Let's see mm. here. We'll go here with this one. And we'll go here. Uh, right here with this one. And I feel like this team has a perplex or two. Uh, I've got support. I've got outwit. Can't see anybody to outwit. That's fine. I don't think anyone's within range. 
No, not even close. Okay. Um, no, I have no... <laughs> the only support powers I packed on this team were support. So, yeah, that is that is my entire movement for this turn. And we'll just call that good. Okay. No need to roll Yamorn Steed's uh, leadership since he carried a whole bunch of people. Uh, I'm just now realizing how kind of awful this map is for me. Yikes. Look at these stairs. But it's Isengard, and I couldn't couldn't pass up the chance. Uh, Halder is going to go ahead and roll to pick up the uh, ICU. See if oh, we can wow. grab these. Oh, baby. And it's a six, too. Isn't that nuts? I only needed a three through six to get the Palantar. And he gets it on the six. So now uh, he has my control and he has improved targeting blocking terrain for what that's worth. Let's go ahead. It's a lot of blocking. I'm sure he has a little, little roll 20 hack. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's squares of it, I guess. Uh, what I do is I just paste the guy and I put the object next to him. And now I know that he is equipped that object. That's my little roll 20 hack for objects there. Place them, place them next to each other, even though their their thing won't won't quite whatever match up. Anyways, yeah, it's what we call a pro gamer nope. move. So it really, it really good is. tips it's for in person move. play if you're ever playing in person again. Uh, just have two of every figure on the board and two of every object, so you can just set them off to the side. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, you only need one of every object. Because I just I just put it next to the guy once it's once it's done, so we, you know that. Ah, oh, that's fair. All right. Well, seeing as we can't really get too close, and we don't really ignore a whole lot of terrain except for with our elves who are kind of in our back. Turns out our, our best our best ranged pieces are also going to be our best close combat pieces. It would seem in in order of getting down. Let's go ahead and Eomor and Steed carry another seven squares here. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go seven like this. We're gonna we're gonna swing around here. Ooh, that looks bad. I don't like that at all. Uh, placing Faramir here and Rohan there, and then we're gonna clear Legolas. Realizing that does do nothing, though. However, because what's it called? these guys Ugh. Uh. final final answer is going to be this I guess <laughs> dupio last forgot we were on the same on the same yeah get it duplo because yeah, Legos yeah. Anyway. it's pretty good uh, oh mm -hmm. I thought it was never mind. Exactly. I was pretty proud of these names dupio um, let's just. Uh... Oh my gosh! All right, Simeon. Yikes! <laughs> Dupio, you know, the best of all the. So, uh, like, there, there is, so there is a reference to that show here, but you got you guessed wrong. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, now he's trying to find it. Uh, it's huh. Rohan. Rohan. Uh, That's Rohan's okay. name. Literally yeah. his name, yeah. Come on. That's literally his name, yeah. He's yeah. a Rohan soldier, so I named him. Yeah, anyways, take your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Struggle is real. He assimilated target prime. Uh, shorthand. Hey, Joe ASS target prime is got eight range without wit. So let's uh let's just get rid of that Rohan soldier's defense. Whatever terrible defense that Rohan soldier might have. Yeah, it was combat reflexes. Yeah, let's get rid of that without wit. Um that'll be handy. Especially since my my charge vessel is 
still in my starting area, so close combat will be very important this turn. Um, mm -hmm. We will have the Assimilated very Target so. Prime take a shot. So it's a 10 for 3 into the Kalibe Rohan. To little, little Rohan. Kashibe. Kashibe. 15 defense. It's got a big old 15. There was a five in the die. That'll so. hit for three damage. Go to click. Go to click four. Let's see here. I smartly positioned my TK where I might need it, but then I did not. Uh, just now realizing the Einstein ship is literally just a support ship, so I don't know why I even brought it up with me so fast. Uh, but we've got Bioship Alpha and the Ratosha that both have running shot and phasing. Those don't combo, but I still I still have them over here. Wow. Let's, wow, wow, let's wow, wow, see. Wow. Bioship Alpha has a 10 speed, so 5 speed with running shot. I can't quite get there. Oh, yeah, I can. Cause I'm a flyer. Uh, I'll just fly up to. He no, I don't want to do that because I have. I have ESD, so we'll fly here, with Bioship. Using my solid six range. Nope, seven range. Uh, my seven range, ten for four. We'll take a shot at the. Ooh. Uh, let's actually go after. Pharaoh mirror. We'll take a shot at Pharaoh Mirror. Ten for four. Mm, okay. Okay. So he's a big eighteen from range. Ah, a six. Ooh. Um, and then the Ratosha, who can also use running shot, but doesn't necessarily need to with six range. We're gonna energy explode. Fun fact, Energy Explosion and Pulse Wave both uh, work with Incapacitate now. You don't deal damage, but all hit targets take action tokens. Pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, we'll... Yeah, we can target either of those guys. Uh, we'll target... We'll target Rohan, dude. With Energy Explosion. So it's a 9 for a locked damage. All right. All right. Ah, crit hit, you say. That'll hit 16s. Well, that that will that will kill uh, Rohan here. He will die. It will kill. And he will be the only person that will take any damage at all. Good, good. You'll kill. Uh, let's see. I think for f action four, I'm just going to move my... Simulation vessel seven seven one three. It's full speed value, which is of course eight speed. So I'll move it eight squares up to Yeah, we'll just go right there. It's a pretty hardy vessel. It can take a it can take a hit or two, so I'm not super worried. And we'll Clear the Halleck Raider. Okay. Which, of course, the Halleck Raider belonging to I'm gonna go the ahead Kazons have... from... Uh, All right, yeah, we're in a Faymir role leadership. Wow, he got it. He shares a keyword with Eamor, which is soldier, so he'll take a token off of him. Let's have... Uh, let's see. Man, I, I didn't check any of these ships' dials. What... What is which one doesn't have like ESD or something? Uh, let's like what's see. what's an easy ship to hit here? You know, Einstein's a fifteen with no ESD, ESD no reduced by two. Uh, assimilation yeah, target bad. prime. That's, that's the bad. that's the silver one. That's got a seventeen toughness. Bioship is a seventeen. Okay, that's the the that's of course species eight four seven two's ship. 
um, that's got 17 ESD. The Halleck Raider is a 16 ESD, mm. but it's also in stealth. Uh, the Ratosha has a 16 toughness, and the Ratosha is this this back one over here that ESD or energy exploded you. Nah, I can't see um, Ratosha. Yeah, we'll look, Faramir, he'll go ahead and shoot Einstein. Have him do that. Wow. See see how well we can do. Oh, that will hit 18 for two two damage. Wow. So Big two click, damage from Faramir. Click three with baby Einstein. Oh, wait. Baby Einstein is mm -hmm. actually... Let's see. So it's actually an 18 from range because it's tiny sized. Yeah. Right. Thankfully, it does still hit, though. <laughs> I just want to point it out. It might be the only chance I okay. get to point out. The... You, no, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It, it did. It does. It did have whatever. That's tiny. You're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. All now right. Anyways, a, a um, and then we have Yamor and Steve move. Wow, oh, geez, that's just all kinds of wrong. Let's just, yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> it looks, looks so bad. We're gonna clear Halder. All right, yeah, it's your go. All right. Um, let's see, still on level two. So I've got the my charge assimilated vessel seven seven one three. I won't be able to reach anything. I don't have any leaderships. I do have a TK. There's no reason to use it though. Einstein's just gonna move one square down. And then the Halleck Raider. I know when you think of Kazons, you don't think of support. You think of like they're raiders. They're just like attacking mm -hmm. the Voyager for whatever reason, constantly. But the Halleck Raider has support, so... Yeah. <laughs> I actually could have done that with TK instead of using a power action, because it's free. Uh, but Halleck Raider's going to attempt to support the poor Einstein. I think I need, I need a 14, so I need a 4. Got it. Now I'll roll to see how much I heal it. Oh my... Minimum two, you say. All my hard work. I'll go back to click one. Uh, That's all I can do that turn, so I'll clear. All my hard work. I completely forgot about the part where Halleck Raider can only TK to adjacent. It's like an own adjacency, so it really kind of messes with like my throwing any kind of attack ships out. Mm. Yes, yes. What are you going to do? Mind control me? What, you got 10 range mind control or something? I'm going to have uh, Legolas. I don't know if these guys move to here. The elves, not on the height. Well, actually, before we do that, they are going to go there. But before we do that, we're going to roll for... Eeyore's leadership, and then Faramir's leadership. Neither of them got it. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll move the Elfie boys to there. And then we're going to clear Faramir and Eeyore. Man. The Elfie boys just reminds me of the Hardy boys. And then it makes me think, like... Mm. In order to protect, like, the WWE talent... They really should have had them just like fight robots this year, because how cool would that have been? Like you've seen Real Steel, right? Yeah, With, I mean, uh, but Hugh like Jackman. Number one, let's not use Real Steel as a reference. Number two, uh, <laughs> like none of the WWE talent got like sick or anything, so it's fine. Number true. three, this has nothing to do with their game. Very true. No, number four, uh, robots would have been super. I don't know, dude. I don't know about the robots thing. I don't know. I don't think that would have worked. They've got like they've got attack all. dogs in New York now. So I'm just thinking, like, take one of those attack dogs or like two of them, and you're like, all right, Goldberg, you've beat. I'm all, thinking like, like all the rest. Roll some dice. But can you? Oh my gosh! Can you beat? Can Goldberg Robo dog take a dog? New York. 
All right. Halleck Do they have Robo Dogs? Like, actually? Yeah, they're like oh, Boston boy. Dynamic. Uh... No, don't, 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 don't answer that question. Just take your turn. No, no, no take your turn. Don't, don't. Please don't. <laughs> Halleck Raiders can TK <laughs> the assimilation tiny. target to here because it can only go to an adjacent square for free. Uh, assimilated target. Yeah. Or target prime. Yeah. The ASS target prime will take a shot at Lego Lass. Eight square reach Ooh. range. Yeah. Uh, we'll go... Yeah, it's just 10 for 3. I'm not going to worry. What's his defense? It is... It's going to be a 17 with super senses. Okay. Right, I'm going to take a chance. Roll the dice. That'll miss. So, didn't matter. Um, Ooh, thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll outwit that ESD the or not the ESD. We'll outwit the super senses, and then we're super gonna have a running shot. Okay, with the Ratosha. Yeah, we'll go here. And the Ratosha, as you remember, has a nine okay. attack with energy Ooh. explosion. So. Uh, well, it okay, yeah, a oh. three. So I well, will get twelves. Do you have a twelve? <sighs> Sadly, no. No one is a twelve there. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Simeon. Okay, let you down. And last but not least is my bio ship. Got five speed, running shot, with seven range, so I can get. Let's see. Let's go range seven. Yeah, I can get there. And then take a shot at Pharaoh Mirror. So we'll go here with the bio shot. No, oh, no, Faramir is Faramir is in stealth. You can't take a shot at Eamor instead. But oh. Faramir is in stealth. Mm. Yeah, I want you to know that. Well then we'll we'll do that. We'll take a shot at Eamor. E Eeyore and Steed will a 16 hit. He is a 17 naturally. Well, I just want you to know that I never have an attack higher than a 10, so at some point you're going to have to get a little. <laughs> because it's real Sorry. hard. Well, I'd... These defenses are all 17 sevens and higher. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to clear the Halleck Raider, clear the Einstein, and I think that's all I can really do. The Assimilated Vessel 7713 can charge, but I have like a five-speed charge, so I'm not getting anywhere interesting. And it's not great defensively, so yeah, that's all I'm going to do for yeah. now. Okay. Well, I, I think it is time. Uh, there's some good epic actions we can do right now. I think in, I don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking here. Some good ones, though. There's some good ones. Three, go there. Pretty good one, two, three, four, five, go there. Okay. Uh, first of all, bio, bio ship infant. Oh, that's funny. Uh, all right, I didn't even get that. that set. I didn't get yeah. that. That's pretty yeah, good. I played that set. That's pretty good. Yeah, he did. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, shoot. That's pretty good. I think what we do here is we do Eamor's epic action to uh, choose up to one friendly character for each 200 points of the game's build total. When a chosen character uses charge this turn, Modify their speed value negative negative two instead of having their speed value from charge. If Eamor and Steed is one of the chosen characters, they can use charge as a free action. So, no, none of these guys have charge. It doesn't give charge, but it does let us use charge as a free action now with only negative two speed. So we're going to charge one, two, three, four, five, six to there. And since we're charging six. 
negative two means we have seven, which means we can carry Faramir and still get there. And we're going to go ahead and punch the, uh, the bio ship infinite. Uh, right. It is a 10 attack. I do have traded is it a 10. Yeah, we shape are. Shape change. That's a one. Yes, that is true. All right. When you hit 17. Ah, well, we tried. We tried. That's where we're at right now with life, I guess. That was our epic action for the turn. So I think what we do, Legolas has the awesome nine speed. Halder, on the other hand, uh, he's got eight. I guess nine range, eight range. We're pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. We can see what we want to see. Does the Ratosha have stealth? No. The Ratosha's, yeah. It's just a 16 right. toughness. Right. So 17 while it's in hindering. Which is pretty big for my team. Yeah, let's go ahead. Pretty big. I hope I hope your role okay. reflects that. That a seventeen is real good for this team. Okay, so we're gonna have Legolas target both the uh, target Prime and Ratosha with his whatever, which is his bolts. So it gives him plus one attack and damage, plus enhancement from Halder. And Legolas is going to be rocking an 11 for 5, shooting at both these fellas. Ooh, ooh, they'll hit 19s. Uh, uh, 19 is impossible to achieve in Star Trek Tactics 3, so ah, that okay. definitely hits anything in the set. I mean, sans the 2x2 okay. two two Borg cube, but... Clearly, that's not on the board. So, uh, they both have. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead. I think they both have toughness. So, yeah, that's the only that's the only defensive. Power let's steal. Uh, let's steal all of it to just target Prime. I think. I think that's what we do. Sets so five damage, so I'll take it down to four. Five damage. Big five damage from we'll Legolas click, here. Go to click five with the good old assimilation target prime. Popping me on to my 11 attack pulse wave. <laughs> uh, Let's go ahead and have a uh, holder target target assimilation prime now. Uh, it's 10 attack. Going to be for three damage with Legolas's enhancement. Well, good luck. I've got a Ooh, 15 hit a in hindering. Ooh. <laughs> I mean... Uh, well, here we are. How much damage are you dealing? It's going to be three. Well, toughness will reduce that to one, so I'll only take one. To two, to two, to two. Reduces it to two. Ah. Reduce it by one, you'll take two. Well, yeah. That'll take care of huh. fast target prime. Uh, see, I knew you were going to have to say it once. <laughs> I didn't want to, but I knew you were going to say it. I mean, all right. The that ASS is my turn. Target Prime, yes. Uh, the thank you. It's yeah, the USS sure. All right, Simeon. Simeon. But okay, it's the Simeon. ASS Target Prime. <laughs> okay, Simeon, it's your go. All right. Well, the ASS needs to be avenged, so my other ASS yeah. vessel seven one three is going to have to do some charging now that it has someone within range. So let's. It's charged to here. And I have exploit weakness. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm at 17. That might actually hit. Yeah, I have a nine attack. That'll hit. Oh, that will hit. That will hit. That'll hit. hit. Good old Eeyore and Steed. Oh, he'll go to he'll go to click three. Let's see here. The bio ship infinite. Um, oh. I can shoot out of hindering or out of adjacency, so we'll go ahead and give him an action to do that. Oh, that hurts. It's a ten for four. <sighs> Almost impressive. Yeah, say. eighteen. That will oh, hit shoot. 18. Well, that that will hit the magical eight. 
We will go to click seven. Ooh, I'm not feeling not feeling the healthiest. Are we still live on click seven? Oh my gosh, yeah, we are. Okay, all right. Sweet. <laughs> I'm surprised. Let's see. That's actually not terrible. Uh, the Halleck Raider is going to use its free TK to TK the star, or the Bioship Infinite back adjacent to itself. Actually, I can mm -hmm. see that square and this mm -hmm. square, so we'll go there. Um, and then the Ratosha. Well, let's see. That's the only guess any uh square that's on the same elevation i can see so the ratosha can go i can go four squares with the ratosha so i could go here then that's a pretty clean line of fire yeah we'll go there with the ratosha And we'll attempt to energy explode All right. Eeyore and Steed. Mm, no, not a fan, not a fan. They are a 16 with ESD. All right. I have energy explosion with a 9 attack. That'll hit 17s. Oh, that was close. That was close. Thankfully, uh, what's his face? Faramir is also a 16 with ESD, so they are safe. Oh, let's see. Assimilation vessel just barely is only a just 16 barely. with toughness, so it will take one. So it'll go to click two. Ooh. Uh, let's see what it has on click two. Oh, yes, that's right. Poison. It's going to go ahead and poison. Ah, you're a scumbag. You're a real scumbag. I hate you. <laughs> that sucks. You suck. Uh, I didn't know that would take it out, but I... Uh... I wanted to do it either way. Um, yeah, that sucked. Uh, you're the worst. You're guess, the worst. Let's see. One, two. Uh, the assimilation vessel 7713 will just move next to Faromir. Mm. I have plasticity, mm. but uh, nothing else really, so. That's all I can do this turn. Nobody to clear. No fun actions other than that to be had. Uh, okay, well, we don't have any leaderships to roll, so we're just going to have Faramir try to punch this vessel. That will hit for two damage, so one. So we'll deal him another damage, I guess. Puts them on uh, click three. Gives Faramir an action token. And then we have to clear Legolas and Halder. Short, short turn. I know, I know. I do have willpower now on the ASS yeah, vessel 7713. So we'll roll for that. That will do nothing. Uh, does good old Pharaoh Mirror have any reducers like a toughness or uh, an ability perhaps no no he does not he ah, does not. okay i will poison him no. yeah no that'll put him to click two and that's really all i don't I like do where we're turn. going here with faramir i'm being uh, real that's all right let me double check the halleck raider and see what kind of range it has six range with energy explosion Yeah, I'm mm. a little outside that range, so mm. I'll move the Halleck Raider to here, but then I'll clear everyone else. Clear the bio ship, the Ratosha, and the okay. ASS vessel. I think this is uh, this is where we go ahead and pop off. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and have Faramir take a swing against the uh the vessel seven seven that should deal another two damage hits a 16 i guess actually i was maybe i'm speaking too soon but it does hit a 16 
with his fresh nine attack for taking damage. Uh, and then I'll have Halder do his his once per game epic epic action here. Uh, just to remind the folks at home, his epic action is once per game. Choose up to one friendly character per 200 points of the game's build total. During your turn, you may give each chosen character a power action, and they may each make two ranged combat attacks, free actions. Halder's chosen character. This power action move given to him is a free action. So he will now, uh, free action, shoot the Halleck Raider. He'll be a 10 for 3 of Legolas's enhancement. Uh, the Halleck Raider is actually... Ooh, that'll hit a 17. Unless you're... Oh, never mind. Sorry. Uh, let's double check. Let's keep that roll. Let's see who's in the eight range. Uh, ah, ah, it's no one. If it makes you feel any better, it would have missed by actually. Lay last never. Um, no, it doesn't make me feel better at all. Actually, actually, I just realized Lay last and them can't see anyone. So if you wouldn't mind, I'll keep that roll, my next attack roll. But they. That was very poor planning on my part. We cannot, yeah, we cannot see the damn thing. So, hmm. Uh, I don't want to be leap climby boys because it's just so lame. It's not. It's not leap climbing hmm. anymore. It's a passive power that works with your move action. So it would be a normal move in which you can ignore outdoor blocking and elevated. Are you not excited by this aspect? Mm. It's fun to well, have not believe it. Power action move mm. with improved says. stuff. Let's see. Let's see if we go there. Do 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 do. Uh. map oh well actually yeah who cares who cares that's right you also have don't you have 10 range? all right yeah we're just gonna move him there I guess. The one dude uh does not give me 10 range does not give me 10 oh i thought that was 10 range. very much only only gives me ignores whatever uh, yeah it's literally just mind control and blocking okay yeah but i can just ignore blocking all right yeah i think that's my turn then must be thinking of the uh what's the new thing the the moldy puppet is that what it's called clay puppet mm -hmm. something like that i'm sure <laughs> whatever puppet master's new object is it gives you mind control with range of 10 but unless yeah you're man him, pop off unless you're using him it just uh is destroyed after the the first time you use it so it's it's kind of right without him. You squish, you squish the little clay. Yeah. Uh, assimilated vessel. All right, it's your turn, Simeon. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't need to roll willpower. It will poison Faromir. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Faromir, you're going to click three. I'm tempted to try and break away so I can just support myself all the way up. Two of my vessels are completely just support vehicles. Uh, instead, I will. Attempt to punch Faramir. I have an eight attack for one damage. Does he have toughness? Uh, he does not. He actually still has ESD. Uh, you only need a seven to hit. He's got a 15 defense. All right. Let's go for it. Uh, that's a six. Well. Oh, yeah. Very lucky there, Faramir. Very lucky. Uh, let's see. We'll keep it on blue this turn. Um, <laughs> Bioship Infinite. It's amazing flight ability allows it to traverse terrain really well. Mm. So it's gonna go ahead and go. Yeah, okay. Five squares here. It's gonna go here and then here with running shot. And do the handy dandy little mm. uh, sharpshooter ability. Uh, I'm gonna take. This is annoying. Shot. This is very annoying to me. I'm going to take a shot at Haldir. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, 14. Wow, thank goodness. Well, that was very helpful for me. Let's see. 
we will free TK the Ratona to here. So I can I can both see it and place it adjacent to myself with the Halleck Raider. And then we will mm. Oh, the Ratona's actually been pretty decent, even with its nine attack. Or at ah, Ratona. Ratosha. How silly of me. Of course, it's the Ratosha, the most famous ship uh, in the whole show. Um, <laughs> well, running shot. Let's just go here. Targeting Legolas. Mm. The greenest of okay, leaves. Okay, then. All right, fine. It'll be a nine. Okay. Yeah, pop off, I guess. With energy explosion. To 17. He got eight. Uh, 16s. Ooh. Ooh, it's close. It was close. But no cigar. Hits neither of them. They both have a 17. That will hit the bio ship. Wait. Uh, the bio ship has. No, uh, it's got a 17 no, got ESD, 17 doesn't ESD. it? It's yeah. Like the highest defense of anyone. Yeah. Never mind. Misses by exactly one. Mm -hmm. um, the Ratosha will then clear. And the Einstein will move. It's going to phase several squares. Let's see. Eight. Seven. Seven squares. Go right there with the Einstein. That'll be my whole turn. Mm, okay. Well... Check out this cash money move, all you movers and shakers out there. Uh, Legolas, being the bow and arrowy boy he is, has the sharpshooter uh, attack symbol. What? Thank goodness. So, yes, I know. I know. It's amazing. We're going to have Legolas go ahead and double target, shooting the Ratosha, shooting the Bioship Infinite, and then having. Uh, the enhancement from Halder, I barely know her, <clears throat> is going to be a 5 damage, 11 attack, targeting both ships. This is a ranged attack, however. Frick, that sucks. Darn it. Rats. <laughs> That'll hit a 15. All that build up for Ratosha's nothing. Ratosha's a 16 toughness. Sucks. Which I, I totally sucks. thought you were at least going to hit the Ratosha, but... Uh... Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Let's go ahead. Uh, is the Einstein top dial again or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> so it's oh, so lame. It's a hole uh, four clips, four clicks deep. It's a 15 ESD. You'd have to hit it for four yeah, we'll, damage to KO it. We'll, we're going to punch. Let's just punch the bio ship with, with Holder. Oh, of course, that'll hit 19s. Geez, both close. It'll oh. hit. Good lord. Come on. I forgot. That'll deal a whole two damage. The bio ship does have oh. Uh, oh, yeah. shape, shape change. change. Yes, shape change. Dilly dilly, shape change. Okay, so we'll just punch the Einstein instead with that nine attack. That nine roll. And then we clear Faramir. It's your go. How much How much damage is uh, he dealing? To the Einstein? Oh, it's going to be a whole two damage. Two damage. Okay. The amount of damage you're used to. to two of them two damage two three clicks. all right well now i've got to get a little serious you've hit einstein twice this game and it's not just einstein mm -hmm. it's it's tiny size it's baby einstein so bioship alpha it's gonna pull out the big guns i cannot be targeted with incapacitate by the way uh i'm gonna punch Legless. No. You won't try. It's a 10. That'll hit a 20. No, that will hit. Legless for, for needs four. needs a good super senses. Oh, no, shoot. That's for four damage. You didn't go click five. Oh, Legless. That will hurt. Then will uh, hurt right now. The Ratosha. RN, not going to lie. Going to follow up with uh. energy exploding Legless. He's gonna uh, be you'll try. He's going to be called legless after I blow him up with this energy explosion. Okay. Does All a, right. Does a 15 hit? No, that will miss. Yeah. No, no, 15 does not hit. Sorry. Uh, Thankfully. 
thankfully. Um, the fair the fair mirror will be poisoned by the assimilation vessel seven seven one three. Yeah, wow! I couldn't have guessed that was going to happen. <laughs> Goes to click four now. Thanks. And then we'll attempt to punch him with assimilation. Oh, he is a big sixteen on click four. Big sixteen. I only need an eight. That'll hit a twelve. Oh, well, that's halfway there. That's halfway there. Living on a prayer. Uh, the Halleck Raider mm -hmm. will move one, two. Let's go three to here. And we'll clear baby Einstein. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're going to do our civic duty here. Uh, we're going to do our civic duty and have Faramir try to end this vessel's life. It has been quite the long, drawn out battle. Uh, he is actually, is he up to a nine attack, eight attack? Oh, baby, on click four, he's a 10 attack. So let's roll those dice. Come on! It wasn't that cool. I didn't mean to talk it up like that, but okay, fine. Faramir will deal the ass vessel seven, seven, one, four, one, one, three, three damage because of a crit hit. Let me just Only needing check. to do two or one, probably. Oh, uh, I had man, I couldn't have crit hit with Legolas, really. Let me just. Oh yeah, you did have willpower. Sake. Sorry about that. I'll roll for willpower. Yeah, for old time's sake. Okay, he didn't. In the in the way that we understood it, by the way. Right. Yeah. For our old time's sake. I man. don't remember well, what the very... exact rules were. I just remember a five or six was good. Yeah, of course it was. A two, not so much. That'll take out the and then we're gonna clear ASS vessel. We'll clear Halder and Legolas, and it's your go. Ah, oh, rats! We tried. We really, really tried. I really want the Bajorans to get this win, but sadly the Rotosha mm. is double tokened. Uh, they need a win because they're. Let's just say they're a sad people. Uh, They've had a lot of hardships. Um, let's go ahead and TK the bio ship away from where it currently is next to the Halleck Raider for free. And then we will just clear... Oh, what's the Einstein rocket? Ah, a 9 for 0. Actually, uh, it's an mm. eight for zero, I think. Um, so yeah, we will just clear all of all of my ships except the Einstein. The Einstein knows what it's about. Okay. It's not about to pick fights that it can't win. Hmm. I think we definitely have Halder. Just go ahead. Punch the Einstein here. Wow. After Ooh, I let you that's live gotta hit. by not attacking you. Yeah. He's a 10 attack. You have zero damage. Yeah, I still chose the other ships. Yeah. You, though. Uh, that's yeah, uh -huh. on click four. Two damage. No, I'm on mm -hmm. click three. So on click three, I have a 14 defense with ESD. This is a close attack. Mm -hmm. You have yeah, a 10 that should attack. End. I think a 20, yeah. Okay, I have a 10 so attack value. I rolled a 6 and a 4. I rolled a 10. 1 damage. Hmm. So I'll go to click 4. Mm, oh, deal 2. It'll, do, it'll deal 2 oh. damage. Yeah, it'll definitely deal 2, though. Well, that'll that'll take out Baby Einstein. Mm. Oh, Baby shoot. Einstein How sad. will be avenged. Sadly, both my ASS Alrighty are then. Gone. Very so the, cool. Uh, the very simplistic cosplay I was going to do for the ASS vehicles is uh -huh. sadly out of the picture. <laughs> okay, neat. Uh, I think we're going to do Legolas's elf eyes here. Uh, give him an epic action. He can use running shot as a free action and places a spotter token on any hit targets. 
When a character marks the spotter token as target of a ranged combat attack, modify its defense value negative one for each 300 points of the game. So he's going to go ahead and target the Ratosha and the Halleck Raider. Um, yeah, double target him. So he will still be a 10 for three, 10 for four, pen blast, uh, whatever running shot here to here. Like, doesn't, doesn't really matter where we're going. Um, and then we're going to go there. Targeting the Ratosha, the Halleck Raider. 10 for 4 damage, penetrating psychic blast. Of course. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. He'll push. Does it help if I tell you I think you only needed a 6 to hit the Ratosha? Mm. <sighs> Fair mirror. 6 speed, 6 range. 1, 2, 3. Running shot. Ah, shooting at the Halleck Raider with old Faramir here. He is also 10 attack with Pen Blast. Forgot to roll for willpower. Whoopsie daisy. There it is. There's Faramir hitting for a whole two damage Pen Blast against the old Ratosh or the Halleck Raider. Excuse me, the Halleck Raider. Sadly, the Halleck Raider is a 16 ESD. Uh, of course, yeah, cool. All right, yeah, it's your go then, Simeon. I am in pain. I'm in physical pain right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think we're just we're just gonna set phasers to explode, explode. So the Rotosha will yeah. fire back set at phasers to die. Duplo Lass with a nine attack for energy explosion. Ah, that'll hit a, a thirteen. Uh, well. He's something with ESD, so he's uh oh 17, yeah, because he's got whatever. And then and the, he's got defend on the other guy. Yeah, so we're good. The Halleck Raider will attempt the same thing, but with a 10 attack. So that'll hit a 17. Well that'll that will re, yeah, re, yeah, it was that blah, blah blah blah. Was that energy explosion? Yeah. That will hit Holder. It will miss Legolas though. Take him to click three. And then the good old bio ship alpha will let's see here we're gonna do some running shot to here mm. we will we will target <clears throat> how dear mm. uh, a 10 for four okay Yes, that will hit. That'll take him to click seven, which he is. Oh, wow. Still live on, actually. Not going to lie. A little impressed by that. That is. That's all I can do this turn. Not. <sighs> that's all I can do this turn. <laughs> hmm. It's only a Sorry, I don't, know. I don't know where I came from. That was my bad. <laughs> uh. Oh, I guess I do have uh. a free TK left. With all the right. All right. I could TK my my bio ship back to where it mm. was, but I, I'm gonna choose not do to do whatever you want to do, bro. Because I want to punch no, do you want to Orlando do. Bloom in the face with my bio ship. Oh my if gosh. you catch All my right. drift. Fine. Fine. Uh we're gonna roll for willpower with uh let's see it, Halder. Wow, he actually got it. Sick. Uh roll for willpower with Faramir. All right, it's fine. Oh, Faramir, arguably, arguably our, our stand-up piece here. Uh, I think Halder just has to do, sadly, I don't want to. It seems like such a waste, but I, I don't think we'll ever get this epic action off again. He's going to choose himself and Legolas for this epic action. Obviously, he can't do a ranged combat attack unless this ship dies. Now, Legolas will double target, um, which will bump his damage value up to a four. He'll double target the Halleck Raider, uh, and this ship right here. So his damage is up to a four. His attack is going to be a ten. Um, well, sorry, his damage is, is a three. But he will deal hit characters an additional damage, which is cool. So let's see what happens. Does uh, a fifteen hit anything at all? No, they are all top dials. Uh, minimum so. sixteen. All right. 
Well, Carl, let's try it again here, shall we? Oh, Legolas! All right, cool. Very neat. Very cool. Uh, well, that was his power action, so he would normally do it as a free action. We can't make ranged attacks right now, so we'll clear uh, Faramir. It's your go. All right. My bio ship is going to attempt to... It's going to attempt to dock with Orlando Bloom's face. I'm going to dock my bio ship to Orlando Bloom's face. Don't say dock ever again, please. Thank you. That'll definitely... That's a successful yeah. dock, if I've ever seen one. Uh, the, uh, gosh, I hate you. The that will clear Orlando Bloom. <laughs> ah! Ah! It's a 10 for huh. 4. Physical um, pain. The Halleck Raider will TK the bio ship back next to it. Mm. And then mm. Mm. I actually really like this Halleck Raider. That uh, free TK, except only like adjacent, is actually surprisingly good as like a yoink kind of mechanic. The Halleck Raider will attempt to shoot Sans uh, energy explosion. We're just going to go 10 for 2. Not even going to bother with the energy explosion. Wow. I'm that confident. Big 17 defense. You can try. Now oh, that'll hit Ooh. a 16. A little bit of a miss by one action. Uh, a little bit of a miss by one. It's pretty good. And hey, it's pretty good. The Ratosha still on click one has running shots. So we're going to go here. Mm. We'll fire mm. off on old Faramir. Again, uh, oh, I don't like that I'm going to take my two damage over the energy explosion because I'm just that confident in this attack. So, Okay, yeah, it's kind of the same thing, though. Ah. Oh, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That will... Oh, critical... That'll actually hit nothing, even if it would be an 11. Even uh, with the new rules. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. The yeah, Ratosha baby, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm waiting for. Click. Pretty good. Two. Hey, it's pretty good. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so Halder is going to go ahead and roll for willpower. Oh, wow. We got it. Oh, my gosh. What a guy. Uh, he's not going to try to mind control. He's going to try to mind control the Halic Raider. He's an eight attack. Mmm, that will hit. That will hit on the mind control against the Halleck Raider, I do believe. And now we're going to have the Halleck Raider go ahead and punch uh, Bioship. Bioship Infinite here. So we'll see what the Halleck Raider can do. Ah, oh, fudge, of course not. Nah. All right, then we'll have change. it roll a breakaway. Uh, it did have shape change. Yeah, you're right. But whatever. It rolled its breakaway. It. Okay. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> we can't even move five. We only move four squares. All right. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. Oh, Halleck Warrior is getting all wet. Uh, let's go ahead and have Faramir running shot. Move the Halleck Raider like this, actually. Running shot to here, shooting the Halleck Raider. Uh oh. All right, Faramir. All right, Faramir. There we go. Big 10. Wow. Good old Faramir. That'll hit. Got it for two pen. For two pen against the old Halleck Raider. Go to click three. My attack value. Will That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm waiting for. All right. All right, Simeon. All right, Simeon. It's your go. See what you got, Simeon. Well, I see think what happens, I, uh, The Ratosha has ESD. Uh, the Halleck Raider has ESD. And the Bio Ship has ESD. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my whole team. No, I don't like that at all. Not a fan. Not a fan of all this ESD. Uh, okay, if you're clearing your team, then that means Faramir rolls for willpower, and that means Halder rolls for willpower. Halder does get it, though, which is pretty gnarly. Yeah. Uh, only being able to see... Well, we do ignore blocking, so we can see... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and have Halder try to mind control the Ratosha. Oh. Does a 16 hit. Yikes, that is so low. You have an 8 attack. Oh, that is low. I have an eight attack. Does that oh. hit with my control on the old red Tosha? Not with my ESD. That would have hit when, with my toes. Uh, okay, but, uh, all right. No. 
All right. Don't well, let's have Faramir just go ahead. Try to try to roll. He needs eights, I think. Does any what's what's the what's the defense value on the Ratosha and the Halic Raider right now? The Printed. Ratosha Printed. is a sixteen ESD. The Halic Raider is a fifteen ESD. All right, let's try to shoot the Halic Raider with old Faramir. It's the only one that makes sense. Ugh, it'll hit him though. It'll hit him for two damage. Good job, Faramir. I'm a little, a little impressed right five. now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow. And it's your go. All right. Halleck Raider no longer has his cool TK for free support power. Um but he does have ranged combat expert. So he's rocking a nine for two right now. So the Halleck Raider is gonna <sighs> return fire on Faramir. Okay, you try, you try. Well, that'll hit 18s. Old... That will hit. That will hit Faramir for sure. Take the him to click six. It's funny because uh, the Kazons are where they meet uh, alive. two of like the main cast for the Voyager. Damn, it's a pretty big crazy. I don't moment care. in the show. Um, and they're let's get over it, like, shall we? Let's get past it, though. <laughs> let's get past it. Let's How is Faramir still alive? I feel like I'm, I. I uh, don't. I don't know. It's pretty wild. Uh, let's it's only see. on click six though. The Ratosha, thankfully, now that it's on click two, has a ten attack, so it's gonna go ahead oh, and shit. just attempt to blast Faramir. A ten for two. It's just gonna. Mm. It's gonna yeah, go I've got a seventeen. And, uh, so you need to roll seven or better. Doubt you can roll a seven or better. Oh, that's a six. Oh, ho, ho. Faramir still in the game. Still in the game. EA Sports is in the game. Let's see. That'll be the Ratosha's action. Bioship. What do you got going on? I do still have running shot with Bioship. Sadly, only one target. I do have seven range. What do we have on old Haldir here defensively? They are both a 17 willpower, just like how almost all of you guys are a 16 ESD or whatever. I'm a 17 <laughs> willpower on both my fellows. It's pretty evenly matched then. I will running shot one square <sighs> cool. to here. And uh, I'm yes. to shoot at Haldir with my 10 for, okay. four. Ten for four. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yes, that I will hit and your kill Halder. Will do anything to help you. No, but for old time's sake, shall I just roll for willpower? <laughs> ah, see, once again, a two doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Once again, that's the old time sake see? number. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. That's My turn. It is, huh? Well, yeah. we got to roll for normal. Roll for normal willpower. Ah, that's a three. It's still not good. We'll clear Faramir. By all means, take take us away. You have. You have three chances to hit a 17. Let's see what Simeon can do here. All right. We'll start off with Bioship. It's been good to me. So we'll go 10 into the 17 for four. And if that doesn't, if that doesn't just. Another epic Golden Age great. Brawl has come to a close. <laughs> Reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on our team on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and the comment section of this video. Next week, I'm going to be building from the Dota starter set, and Simeon will build from the Lone Ranger set. Uh, not much to choose from here, guys. Honestly, you haven't voted the last two times, so why vote now? Uh, Dota's got Tidehunter, Witch Doctor, the Faceless Void, Razor, and the Lich. And the Lone Ranger has six characters, Lone Ranger, Tonto, Butch Cavendish, Red Harrington, and then two Pogs, the Outlaw, and the Cavendish gang uh, i imagine we're just gonna play the max amount of points for lone ranger uh <laughs> and then see how many dota figures fit on the max points so yeah simeon's got lone ranger i've got dota thank you guys for watching this game and going to isengard with us make sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell notifications so you know every time we upload a thursday throwdown or any funny random video that we upload listen to the dial for hero Clicks podcast Donate to our Patreon if you enjoy the content we make here and want to see more of it. As always, I'm your sexy ranchie and co-host Calder Ness. Happy trails.